In this video, we'll explore a life-changing concept that can transform your life. Stay tuned to discover the power of saying no and setting healthy boundaries. So, let's take a moment to ponder. How often do we find ourselves compromising our comfort, peace, and values just to accommodate others? It's a common scenario, isn't it? It's a bit disturbing to think about, but in this fast-paced world, aren't we often expected to sideline our personal preferences and emotional well-being just to meet societal expectations or to keep others content? Now ponder this. We all play different roles in life, don't we? We are parents, children, employees, bosses, students, teachers, and so much more. Each role comes with its own set of expectations, and in order to fulfill these, don't we often find ourselves bending, adjusting, and compromising? Isn't it true that we sometimes feel obliged to place our personal needs last in order to fulfill our responsibilities towards others? Recall all the moments when you've been asked to do something you didn't want to, the occasions you had to make tough choices just to keep someone else satisfied, or when, despite your gut instinct screaming no, you agreed to a task that didn't align with your principles. Don't these instances bear testimony to the unseen burden of compromise we all bear? But what about self-care, emotional well-being, and personal happiness? Aren't they equally crucial? They surely are. Today, we're going to delve deep into the importance of maintaining your peace of mind and upholding your values. We're going to stress on the fact that these are not luxuries, but necessities. Consider the power your voice holds, the impact it can create when you say yes or no. It's just about expressing agreement or disagreement, but about affirming your belief, setting your boundaries and asserting your autonomy. Remember that time when your internal voice was screaming no, but your external voice said yes. What do we fear? Rejection, conflict, disappointing others. In these fears, we suppress our true selves. But what if we change our perspective? What if we view saying no not as an act of defiance, but as an act of self-love and respect? Imagine the life-changing potential of voicing your no. It can bring you personal freedom, mental peace, and emotional stability. It can help you reclaim your time, your energy, and your life. This is not about being selfish, but about achieving a healthy balance between taking care of others and taking and taking care of ourselves. In this journey of enlightenment, we aim to help you understand the importance of setting personal boundaries, recognizing your limits, and finding the courage to say no when it matters the most. We want to empower you to stand up for yourself, to respect your emotional space, and to value your self-worth. Welcome, dear viewer, to a journey of enlightenment where we unravel the power of personal boundaries and the transformative potential of a simple word. Let's imagine a young woman named Emily. Emily was a classic people pleaser, constantly radiating energy and positivity. Her radiant smile, heart full of kindness and readiness to lend a hand made her a beacon of light in her community. She was a confidant, a shoulder to lean on, an indispensable part of many lives. She firmly believed in the power of giving and found joy in serving others. She was proud of her ability to empathize, to understand and feel what others were going through. But every yes she said to others, every agreement she nodded to was a no herself. It was prioritizing others over her own needs, desires, and dreams. Her constant tendency to accommodate others to keep them pleased started making her lose touch with her own self. The never-ending cycle of people-pleasing was not a bed of roses for Emily. It was a double-edged sword that made her pay a heavy price with each yes. Gradually, Emily started feeling depleted. The once vibrant and lively Emily seemed to be fading away. She felt as if she was losing herself bit by bit. Like a ship adrift at sea without a compass, she felt lost and disconnected from her own needs and desires. The endless cycle of pleasing others was taking a toll on Emily's well-being. One ordinary day, Emily chanced upon a thought-provoking quote by Paulo Coelho. The quote read, When you say yes to others, make sure you are not saying no to yourself. This collection of words sparked a revelation within Emily. She found herself reflecting on her life, on the multitude of times she had sidelined her own dreams and aspirations to accommodate others. The realization that she had been letting go of her own well-being, dreams and aspirations for the sake of others had a profound effect on her. She remembered how she had relinquished her dream of becoming a writer to join the family endeavor, how she had traded her passion for travel for a life a life of routine, and how she had consistently neglected her own needs and desires for the benefit of others. This quote sparked an awakening, Emily. It served as an alert that her dreams and aspirations were equally significant. 
It was an impetus for her to start placing herself first, to start saying yes to herself. This was a defining moment for Emily. She understood the significance of setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care. It marked the initiation of a new chapter in her life where she would learn to balance her own needs with those of others and begin living life on her own terms. From that moment on, Emily, previously a conformist, chose to navigate the unexplored domain of life. She committed to being authentic, a decision that was more challenging than it may seem. In a world where she had always tried to blend in, to comply, and just be one among many, this choice was nothing less than groundbreaking. Her life, up until then, had been a procession of compromises. She had shaped herself to meet others' expectations, sacrificing pieces of her identity each time she agreed when she wanted to disagree. She yielded, not out of concurrence but from the fear of rejection and exclusion. Then, Emily had a moment of revelation. She comprehended that she was more than just an entity morphing to please others. She was an individual with her own ambitions, passions and beliefs. An individual with a voice that had been oppressively suppressed by societal norms. She started realizing that authenticity isn't about pleasing everyone. It's about respect, self-respect, and others' respect for her individuality. She understood she had the right to her own thoughts, emotions, preferences, and especially her own boundaries. This perspective, this fresh outlook, empowered Emily. It provided her the bravery to establish personal boundaries, something she had previously considered as self-centered, even arrogant. But she grasped that setting boundaries isn't about limiting others. It's about self-care, about preserving mental, emotional, and physical health. She started with minor refusals to compromise. Each time she said no, she felt a boost of strength, a feeling of freedom. This was her life, and she had full authority to dictate its influencers. However, every step towards setting these boundaries wasn't a walk in the park. She encountered resistance and the letdown of those accustomed to her constant agreement. But, she persisted, her courage rooted in the realization that she was finally being real. Being authentic wasn't a mere proclamation, but an ongoing journey of self-exploration. It was about accepting herself, recognizing her weaknesses, acknowledging her strengths and incorporating her individuality into her life's tapestry. She also identified the power of saying no, a word she had restrained too long due to politeness or fright. No wasn't a sign of rudeness or cruelty, rather a declaration of her rights, a proclamation of her uniqueness. It was proof of her newfound boldness, a confirmation of her dedication to safeguard her boundaries, her tranquility, herself. From that point forward, Emily lived life on her terms. She became a proponent for self-love, self-respect, and the potency of authenticity. Her journey was not always easy or accepted by others, but Emily knew that this was her tale, her life, and she was the one holding the pen to write it. And thus, Emily's journey of self-discovery carried on, where she learned to wield the power of saying no. This choice marked the beginning of a new chapter in Emily's life, a pivotal moment where she decided to be true, to set personal boundaries, and to harness the power of saying no. Being true to oneself isn't about selfishness or cruelty. Rather, it's about honoring your intrinsic values, your emotions, and your overall wellness. It's about the realization that you too hold a significant place in the world. It's about conceding that your needs, your wants, and your joy are of vital importance. It's about understanding that you have the right to your own emotions, thoughts, and personal space. Being true to yourself involves standing firm for your convictions, even when faced with adversity, even when it contradicts the masses. It necessitates taking moments to listen to your heart, to comprehend your emotions, to recognize your feelings. It's about granting yourself permission to experience your emotions, free from judgment or criticism. Being true to oneself requires respecting personal boundaries, establishing what you're willing to allow, the compromises you're ready to make. It's about discerning when to refuse, when to retreat, when to progress. It's about being at peace with who you are, your strengths, your weaknesses, your triumphs, and your failures. Being true to oneself is a celebration of your individuality, a recognition of your uniqueness, a tribute to your worth. It's about cherishing your achievements no matter how small, honoring your efforts no matter how trivial they may appear. Being true to oneself means understanding that your journey is exclusive to you, your path is different, your experiences are one of a kind. It's about treasuring your principles, remaining loyal to your beliefs, standing strong in your convictions. Being true to oneself is a pursuit of authenticity, sincerity, and genuineness. 
It's about being truthful to yourself, admitting your errors, accepting your flaws. Being true to oneself involves showing compassion to oneself, treating oneself with kindness, love, and respect. It's about taking care of your physical health, mental wellness, emotional balance. It's about practicing self-care, nourishing your soul, feeding your mind. It's about the understanding that you too are significant. Being true to oneself isn't about living life as per others' expectations, but as per your own. It's about setting your own standards, your own goals, your own milestones. It's about following your passions, chasing your dreams, pursuing your ambitions. It's about comprehending that you too are crucial, not more crucial than anyone else, not less crucial either. Being true to oneself is about cherishing your worth, recognizing your potential, accepting your significance. It's about understanding that you are worthy of love, respect, and happiness. It's about acknowledging that you matter, your feelings are valid, your thoughts hold value. It's about recognizing that you, too, are crucial. Saying no is a potent instrument in your personal journey. This act isn't about refusing others, as often misinterpreted, but about embracing oneself. It involves understanding your limitations and respecting your boundaries. It's about acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses, accepting your imperfections, and learning self-love. Furthermore, saying no is a conscious decision-making process. It's about determining what holds importance for you, what warrants your precious time and energy. It's about putting your needs over others' expectations and doing so without any feelings of guilt or self-reproach. It's about asserting your rights to your time, your personal space, and your energy. Therefore, saying no goes beyond just uttering a word. It's a statement, a defining line, a boundary setting, an act that not only safeguards your mental and emotional health, but also encourages personal growth. In conclusion, saying no is a deliberate decision to prioritize yourself, your time, and your energy. Thus, saying no isn't merely an act. It's a journey, a commitment, a promise to oneself. It's a potent tool that, when used appropriately, can guide you towards a life of authenticity, respect, and self-love. On the flip side, setting boundaries is essentially about identifying your personal zone, physically, emotionally, and mentally. This is where you draw the line, determining where your individual realm ends and the vast universe commences. It's about defining limits and honoring them. It's about curating a secure haven for yourself. Think of it as an imperceptible barrier, a force field designed by you for yourself. This barrier is not designed to seclude you from the world at large. On the contrary, its purpose is to safeguard your core principles, your inner tranquility, your mental health, and your singular identity. It functions as a protective armor warding off stress, overstimulation, manipulations, and transgressions. The physical definition of your personal space refers to the tangible boundaries you establish. This might include your residence, your workstation, and your personal possessions. It's about laying down the fundamental laws pertaining to your belongings and physical closeness. Defining emotional boundaries signifies shielding your sentiments and feelings. It's about acknowledging and valuing your emotional needs, voicing your sentiments fearlessly, and granting yourself the liberty to experience emotions without judgment. It entails realizing that your emotions belong to you and deserve respect from others. When it comes to your mental space, setting boundaries is about preserving your thoughts, your concepts, and your mental health. This might relate to deciding who is granted entry into your mental sphere, the kind of thoughts you permit, and how you react to external triggers. It revolves around maintaining a healthy mental atmosphere, one that promotes growth and encourages optimism. Creating boundaries is a fine art, a subtle equilibrium between openness and safeguarding, between revealing and concealing, between acceptance and resistance. It's an ongoing negotiation with the world outside, a ceaseless procedure of identifying and re-identifying your personal territory. Contrary to popular belief, boundaries are not about blocking the external world. They are about conserving the internal universe. They are not impediments, but sieves that admit what nourishes and enriches us, and exclude what degrades and belittles us. They serve as the quiet, delicate custodians of our individuality. In a world that ceaselessly endeavors to shape us, mold us, and squeeze us into preconceived frameworks, the act of setting boundaries is not merely significant, it's crucial. It's about asserting your individuality, claiming your territory, and safeguarding your value. It's about comprehending where your individuality ceases and where the universe commences. Armed with three essential elements, Emily initiated a voyage of self-discovery and self-love that was solely her own. 
This journey was no cakewalk. It was littered with hurdles and drawbacks. Undeterred, Emily persevered, standing her ground and persistently advancing. Every stride she took made her more robust and confident, teaching her to rely on herself and have faith in her abilities. During this voyage, Emily ventured into her areas of interest and passion. She indulged in her favorite pastimes, devoting valuable time to personal growth and learning. She immersed herself in books, dabbled in painting, and even started penning her own narratives. Emily rekindled her love for the outdoors, investing more time in nature and learning to appreciate life's simple pleasures. As Emily devoted more time to herself, she began to comprehend herself better. She started valuing her solitude, finding joy and tranquility in her own company. She relished the quiet moments of solitude where she could be at one with her thoughts. Emily started making decisions aligned with her personal beliefs and values, choosing what was right for her, not what others expected or desired. She found serenity in her decisions, realizing that she was the master of her own destiny. This journey also led Emily to realize her self-worth. She understood that she was more than just others' perception of her. Emily comprehended her true value and abilities, ceasing to underestimate herself and starting to believe in her potential. Her self-worth became her powerhouse. On this voyage, Emily learned to love herself wholeheartedly, embracing all her faults and imperfections. She ceased comparing herself to others and started to appreciate her unique attributes, finding beauty in her individuality. This self-discovery and self-love journey brought about a dramatic transformation in Emily's life. It made her more self-reliant, confident, and content. It empowered her to take control of her life, making decisions that best served her interests. It led her to discover her true self and unlock her potential. Emily's life took a positive turn. The journey underscored the importance of self-love and self-acceptance, making her realize that she was as deserving of happiness and love as anyone else. She found joy in her own company, peace in her decisions, and strength in her self-worth. Emily was happier, more content, and more at peace with herself. In closing, the journey of self-discovery and self-love is all about being authentic to oneself. It's a voyage where we dive deep into our own character, come to terms with our unique personality, and discover the strength of our spirit. This journey entails unpacking your emotions, understanding what sparks various emotions like joy, sorrow, anger, and tranquility within you. In this journey, you foster self-love by upholding your values. These could be your ethical standards, codes of conduct, or convictions that steer your life. It's about living your passion, defending your beliefs, or stepping back when something or someone doesn't fit well with your values. Upholding your values ensures that you don't dissolve into the masses or get influenced by the viewpoints of others. As part of this expedition, you see that saying no is a strong weapon. It's not about denying others, but about acknowledging yourself. It's about recognizing your limits and refusing to stretch beyond what is comfortable solely to accommodate others. Assigning priority to your needs, time, and energy constitutes a crucial part of this journey. It's about grasping the importance of self-care and carving out time for yourself. It's about learning to prioritize your needs in order to rejuvenate your energy and tend to your mental and physical health. Establishing boundaries is a crucial part of this journey. It's about delineating your private space, physically, emotionally, and mentally. It's about deciding to what extent you're willing to let others impact your life. In essence, being authentic to oneself is a journey that paves the way to a life of genuineness, respect, and satisfaction. Emily's voyage is a shining example of the transformative strength of three key elements, authenticity, courage, and self-acceptance. It's a narrative of bold conviction, standing steadfast in the face of societal norms. Emily's saga is a vibrant display of the remarkable changes that occur when we have the courage to trust ourselves and our instincts. Ponder this for a minute. Reflect on the last time you found yourself at a significant juncture, teetering on the edge of a monumental decision. It was probably a time when you felt pressured to say yes, even when every part of you was shouting no. Such moments are not rare. In fact, they are a fundamental part of our lives. We have all been there, trapped in the whirlwind of this internal struggle, torn between our desires and the demands of others. At those moments, delve into the depths of your memory and recall Emily's narrative. Remember what it represented. Her story wasn't merely about success or accomplishment, but about the bravery she mustered to confront the world and declare her truth. 
Emily's story was about the power of being true to oneself, valuing personal instincts and instincts and desires over societal expectations. Being true to oneself is not just an abstract idea, it's a practical, tangible guideline that, when adopted, can significantly impact our lives. It's a compass that can guide us through the toughest storms, a lighthouse that can illuminate our way when all other lights fail. It's the key to living our lives fully, honestly, and fearlessly. A single phrase that beautifully encapsulates this concept is a quote from the great Shakespeare himself. His words were, this above all, to thine own self be true. There is an eternal wisdom in these words, a truth that transcends the boundaries of the period they were penned. What does it mean to be true to oneself? It's about setting limits both for ourselves and with others. It's about learning to say no when necessary, even when it's the most difficult thing to do. It's about tuning into our inner voice, respecting and roars. It involves recognizing and honoring our values and well-being, despite societal pressures. It's high time we embrace this wisdom, this profound truth, and incorporated it into our daily lives. It's time we acknowledged the significance of heeding our inner voices and honoring the very essence of our beings. It's time began to set boundaries and say no when our well-being is at risk. So let's set out on this voyage of self-discovery and truth. Let's celebrate our individuality, our authenticity, and our unique viewpoints. Let's value our principles and our well-being above everything else. Let's nurture the courage to stand up for ourselves, to declare our truths, and to live our lives authentically. The moment has come to be true to you. It's time to respect your needs, your desires, and your happiness. Engagement is the lifeblood of this channel, and your likes, comments, and shares not only help us grow, but also create a community where people can share their experiences and support each other. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't hesitate to engage. Your voice matters and your story can inspire others who are going through the same struggles as Emily did. Remember to share this video with anyone you know who struggles with saying no, setting boundaries, or being true to themselves. Your share could be the wake-up call they need to start their own journey of self-discovery and truth. The transformative power of saying no cannot be overstated. It's not just about refusing something you don't want to do. It's about valuing your time, your energy, and your well-being. It's about choosing yourself over the expectations of others. We want to thank you for your support and for becoming part of this community. Your engagement helps us create more content like this, and your stories inspire us to keep doing what we do. Remember, it's okay to say no. It's okay to prioritize your well-being. It's okay to be true to yourself. And it's more than okay to share your journey with us. Thank you again for your support, and we look forward to hearing from you.